What's up, guys? What's up, Mac team? So we're about to get started. Let me see if you are already watching, if you are already on the call. Please let me see who is watching, where are you from, where, where are you right now, what's going on. Let me see who is already with us. So I want to see some people. Monica, hello Monica, how you doing? Monica from Romania, living in UK. Uh, Burak, I see Burak Polar is here. From Germany, from Turkey, actually living in Germany. Anna from Romania. So we have Romania in the house, we have Germany in the house. Who else? London in the house, Hamburg in the house. I want to see some more, some more countries in the house, Cyprus in the house, Greece in the house, and we are ready to get started. I'm going to give a few more minutes for people to tune in, and I will suggest if you have people in your team that uh, you know they are not watching right now, that you know they are not on the Martin Facebook group. Get them in right now. We are about to get started. This is the first call of the year. You don't want them to miss that. You don't want them to miss the first goal of the the first call of the year that is going to be about the goals of the year. So Greece in the house, Slovakia in the house, Romania in the house, Austria in the house. I do know that we have people. Uh, from the other part of the world, we have people from New Caledonia, Tahiti, New Zealand, Australia, uh, that they will watch this call tomorrow. By the way, let's send some positive energy, all of our love for Australia. I think you all know what's going on there right now. They're going through some tough time the beginning of the year so let's send some positive energy to australia i see new caledonia in the house glenda and glenda uh in the house again romania austria in the house and let's get started you know it's time to get started and if you can read the title of this call of this live call it's a question and the question is how your 2020 how your 2020 is going to be years ago i was listening uh, to an audio from mr jim Rohn, and he said that someone asked asked him hey jim how do you think this year will be and his answer was, this year will be exactly like the previous one if you don't change some of your habits. So if you're looking for an answer about the question how your 2020 is going to be, I'm telling you right now, your 2020 is going to be exactly like your 2019 like 2019 like the previous year if you don't change some of your habits and i know some of you you're going to ask me and how was 2019 how was 2019 for me 2019 was great for some of you that you're watching right now 2019 was maybe your best year ever as a team we had an outstanding year we got new residual income earners. We did a lot of team uh, dream trips, a lot of success. We did the Mexico team dream trip uh, last April. We did the Mac team in Cyprus, uh, the Go IMD Mac team event. And by the way, we are going to have another one on 2020. Uh, that Go IMD event, we will repeat it. 2020 it's going to be july i don't know the dates yet but 
I'm just telling you 2020, July this year, we're gonna have an, another one go YMD maximum event. And this time probably is not gonna be senior reps and above. It's gonna be three star reps and above. We are gonna get more people to the event. So as I was telling you, 2019 was a great year. New residual income earners, uh, the Mexico Martin trip, we got the, um, the Go IMD event in Cyprus, um, the MDs party at my house, many tours around the world. It was an outstanding year. But at the same time, we went through some difficulties. We went through some obstacles. We went through some tough times. And because we are fighters and our leaders, the MAC team leaders, they know how to fight and they know how to uh, face any obstacle, any difficulty. We fought like warriors and we made 2019 one of the best years that we ever had as a team, if not the best one. So I can guarantee you one thing and one thing only. 2020, we still going to go through some difficulties. We still gonna go through some obstacles. We still going to fight against uh, negativity, but we still gonna fight like real warriors. We still going to have tremendous success. We still going to have new residual income earners. We, I, I can tell you that 2020, we are gonna have more residual income earners than 2019. And you can mark my word. So, you know, I said before that for things to change, you have to change. If you want your 2020 to be better than your 2019, if you want this year to be better than the previous one, then it's on you. And you know that you need to make some changes. If there are things that you didn't like in 2019, you are responsible to change those things. So you wanna have a different year? You need to do something different. But first of all, you need to plan it to be different. You want more growth? Plan it. You want to rank up? Plan it. You want more happiness? Plan it. You want more money? Plan it. Whatever you want in 2019 that you haven't achieved in 2019, the first thing that you need to do is to plan it. Set your goals and have a roadmap on how to achieve your goals. And I have to tell you, I already did mine. I'm going to show you today, but I already did mine. I already started the year with a to-do list. And this is what I'm going to talk today. I'm going to talk about uh, creating your own to-do list. You got to start your year with a to-do list. So here's my question to you. Number one, how many of you, you already did your to-do list? How many of you, you already have your list with goals? Let me see. Give me some answers. If you already have your list with goals, if you already started the year and you are ready to go, and you already have a list with all the goals that you want to achieve. I want to see this. Let me see uh, on the chat box. You can write on the chat box and let me see who already has a to-do list. Elena, Maria, Popa. Let me see who else. I want to see some more. If you already did your to-do list, let me see it. And by the way, if you haven't done your to-do list, let me see it. You can say, yes, I did it, or I haven't yet. So 
I see Alina, Thomas Fernstein, Panos, Flavia, Eddie Trifoni, Madalina, Omar, Philmon. I, I need you to be honest with me, guys. Today, I'm going to give you everything and anything you need to create your to-do list. I'm going to focus on some specific goals and how to achieve these goals. But if you want us to work together tonight, you need to be honest with me. You need to tell me the truth. So if you haven't done your list, I need to know. So who hasn't yet? I want to see. So I, I see only yes. <laughs> Adre, he did it, Inesh, uh, she did it, Irini, she did it, so Rocco, Edward, Vanessa, I see only yes, so I see Nikos, Nikos, he said, I didn't, uh, who else, I see Alfredo, he did it, almost done, Pablo, Tonya, not yet, uh, Flavia, she was guided by Rasvan Dinga, our IMD, Top IMD, uh, and she did it with the help of Rasvan. Gerard, not yet. Vanessa, I will do tomorrow. Not yet, not yet. Okay, great. So I got some feedback, and I know where we are right now, so I can continue. And I will continue with what I said a minute ago. You need to start your year with a to-do list. Those of you that you haven't yet, you will do it tonight. You see, any type of success that you want in your life <coughs> is, is not going to come to you randomly. Any type of success that you want in your life is not going to come to you by luck. See, happiness doesn't come by luck. Financial success doesn't come by luck. Fulfillment will never come to you by luck. Nothing in life, nothing which is positive in life comes to you by luck. As a matter of fact, you cannot go through life by chance. You need to go through life by choice. You need to choose what you want from life. Life is like, you know, you go to a restaurant, what do they give you? They give you a menu, right? You open the menu and you want to see what to order. Same with life. L life has a catalog and you need to choose from that catalog. And if you don't choose from the catalog, if you don't choose from the menu, someone else, will choose for you. So first thing that you need to do is to start your year with a to-do list. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Even if you win the lottery today, get ready to lose everything sooner than you think. And this is not something I believe. This is not something that I'm saying. <coughs> you, you see, if you make your research, um, make research about lottery and go and check most of the people that they won the lottery in the United States or in Europe or anywhere in the world, but I'm, I'm just telling the United States because if you win the lottery in the United States, you're not going to win a million dollars. You are winning millions of dollars. And if you make your research, you'll find out that most of the people that they won the lottery in the United States, after five years, they own more money from what they got. And we are talking about tens of millions of dollars sometimes. So even if you are so lucky and you, win, you, will, you are going to win the lottery or something else will happen in your life, if you don't plan it, if you don't know how to get it, you will lose it faster and sooner than you think. Jim Rohn says, success is something you attract by the person you become, right? To become more, you need to do more. And to attract more, you need to become more. So you need to plan it. 2020, be ready to plan this year to be the best year. So 
How do I plan goals? How do I plan my year? Planning starts with detailed goals. First of all, you need to be specific and clear enough about what you want. So you want to be specific and crystal clear about what you want. Number two, it needs to be measurable so you know once you achieve it that you achieved it. <laughs> you need to be able to measure your success. It needs to be specific, needs to be measurable, and it needs to be relevant to your circumstances in life today, not the circumstances in life yesterday. So you cannot say, here is something else about goals. You know, some people, they say, what's the difference between a goal and a dream? I'm gonna talk about uh, money. Even though the whole call is not gonna be about money only, uh, but I'm gonna focus on money and financial success a little bit more. So let's say today you are earning $3,000 per month. And you say, one of my goals in 2020 is to go to $100,000 per month. And you have no idea how to do it. That's not a goal, that's a dream. That's not a goal, that's a dream. You want to set a goal, instead of saying my 2020, I want to go to $100,000 per month, it's better to say next month I want to go from $3,000 to $4,000. That's a goal. Goals, not dreams. And it's nothing bad with having daydreams. I love this. But goals needs to be relevant to your... You, you need to give increase every time that you set a goal. A goal but needs to be relevant to your life's circumstances. You cannot say, you know, I'm driving a Toyota, but 2020, I want to drive a Lamborghini. That's a dream. It's not a goal. You cannot say, you know, I'm living in a, whatever it is, whatever it is. Let me give you an example. You cannot say, I have no kids, but 2020, I want to have seven kids. <laughs> There is no chance. No, there is a chance if you have seven kids with seven different wives or seven different husbands, no, seven different wives. But what you need to understand is that if you want to have a real goal and not dreams only, but you want to have a goal that you'll go after it, you need to set something that is relevant to your life circumstances. If it's clear what I'm saying, just type clear. I want to see that you're following. Now, as I told you at the beginning, I did my list of goals. And you can check it out. Here is my list of goals. So if you can see right now my mobile phone, I don't know if you can see it. Let me do it again. So you see, it's a photo with my list of goals. It's a photo of my family. And here is my list of goals, of my most important goals. Nine most important goals for me, uh, 2020. So the first goal that I have here is a goal that has to do with feelings, it's a goal that has to do with love. And I know some of you will say, why should I put a goal that has to do with love? Or, you know, I'm not in love, or I'm not in a relationship. Maybe you are not in a relationship with uh, someone that you consider to be a significant other, but you are in some relationships. You are in a relationship with your father, your mother, your daughter, your son, uh, friend so you need to have a goal that has to do with love if you spend actually let me state it like this if you don't spend time thinking about what you love automatically you spend time thinking about what you don't love let me repeat this 
if you don't spend time thinking about what you really love, automatically you spend time thinking about what you don't love. And if you do spend time thinking about what, what you don't love, uh, <coughs> every one of those little things brings more problems, more struggle, more difficulty in your life. But if you do exactly the opposite, if you do what I told you, if you, if you spend time thinking about what you love, you focus on who and what you love. And once you focus on who and, and on what you love, you need to make it clear. And once you make it clear, it's the time that you are giving love. You may do this with your kids. You may do this with your parents. You may do this with your friends. But one of my goals, and it's something that I didn't do it enough in 2019, one of my goals is to say to the people that I do care and I do love, is to tell them daily my feelings about them. So one of my goals is to say to my son every day, to my sons every day, you know, I love you, I care about you, to my, to, to my friends, to my wife, to my parents, to, to anyone that I really care about them, is to share it. That's one of my goals. So it's not only about giving, because some of you right now, you are thinking that I'm talking about giving, but at the same time, it's about receiving. I'm telling you that once you give, uh, what, once you give love, you will receive love. It's gonna come back to you exactly the way that you uh, gave it. So second goal that I have on my mobile phone, is about um, it's, it's a spiritual goal, and again, I'm not gonna push uh, my faith to you. I'm not gonna talk about my faith and what I am and what I am not. That's not uh, my business and not your business. But I want to share something from the Bible, and you can see Bible as a spiritual book. You can see Bible as a personal development book. So uh, in Bible is written that it says, happy are those uh, who are humble and they will receive what God has to offer them. They will, re they will receive what God has promised. Happy are those who are merciful and God will be merciful to them. Growing. Uh, has not one direction, right? You don't want to grow financially and only financially. Spiritual uh, goal was really necessary for me for 2020. And it was something that I worked in 2019, but not uh, enough. So my second goal is a spiritual goal. My third goal is a career goal. And when I say career goal, that's not a financial goal. It's a career goal. So you need to understand that some of you set career goals and you feel that you are working about your financials. No, or you set a financial goal and you think that you are going to have improvement and progress in your career. Career and financial is something that is connected, but it's not the same thing. Your career at some times and some points has nothing to do with your financial situation. If you're growing financially, but your career doesn't grow, I guarantee you, you are far away from happiness. If your career is growing and your financial, financials doesn't grow, it doesn't mean that you are happy or you are financially free. Let me give you an example. So let's say that you are, you are in work venture trade and you are going from marketing director all the way to IMD 2020. Is this going to make you rich? Give me an answer, yes or no. You are marketing director and 
in 2020, you will become an IMD. Is this going to make you rich? Yes or no? I need an answer. And then I'm going to give you my uh, point of view. So who's the first one who's going to give me the answer? No, of course. And I do agree with Maria. It's not going to make you rich. It may make you rich, but it is not guaranteed that you'll become rich in 2020 if you become IMD. Let's say that 2019 you are making $5,000 per month. 2020 you are making $50,000 per month. Is this going to make you rich? Not necessarily. It depends. It depends from how you will handle the money. So I do have a career goal. But it doesn't mean that my career goal is going to fix or serve my financial goal. I'm going to talk about money later on, as I told you. But I want to prepare you for what is coming. I want you to be ready. I want you to understand that career and financial situation, at some point, are connected. The one can serve the other. But in many cases, the one can destroy the other. So if you are making $50,000 and you are spending all the money, how this is going to make you rich? How this is going to make you um, financially free? So my third goal is a career goal. And my fourth goal um, is a financial goal. So my fourth goal is an income goal. And I have exactly, my fourth goal, it says exactly how much money I want to make and how much money I want to have uh, at my bank account in 2020. So I'm really specific. It's something that you can measure. And it's also something that is relevant to my life circumstances today. It's an increase. So I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to say that I want to, have the same money that I had in 2019. I'm going to give increase, but it's something that I do believe is possible. It's something that I have a plan on how to work and make it happen. So, um, I, I will. I also want to read your comments because sometimes I get some really good questions from you, but I'm going to do it, you know, as I'm talking. So my fourth goal is an income goal. And this will be the one that I'm going to focus more than anything else today on the call. So I'll leave it uh, at the end. My fifth goal is a material goal. And there is nothing bad for wanting more things. You know, there is nothing bad on spending money on materials. There is nothing bad on buying a, a new car. Nothing bad on wanting a new house. Nothing but, um, you know, whatever it is. Want to buy a new watch? When there is nothing but on spending money on your lifestyle or on materials. As long as you receive some satisfaction, I see it as a reward of your hard work. Because some people they say, you know, you got this money and you spent hundred fifty thousand dollars to buy a new car. What's your problem? It gives me some satisfaction. So what's your problem? Uh, you got this house and you spent so much money to buy a new house, but you do, what's your problem? There is nothing bad. It's a reward for my hard work. What's really bad is if you spend all your money to buy materials. It's when you spend all your money to a new car or to a new house. What's even worse is when you go and you borrow money from the bank to buy a new house. I don't, that's not my strategy, and this is not the strategy that I suggest. This is not the strategy that I recommend. Most of the people, this is what they do. So someone is coming to me, and he says, you spent $150,000 to buy your car. And I say, what's your problem? And he goes, I spent 20000 for my car. And I say, I said, how did you buy your car? I borrowed money from the bank. I put my car cash. So who is spending more money in cars? Me or you? If you spend 20,000 euros 
to buy your car and you're making 20,000 euros per year and I spend 150,000 euros to buy my car, but I'm, ma I'm making close to $2 million euros per year, who spend more money, me and you? You spend your, the savings of the whole year to buy a car or you don't even have the money and you went to the bank to borrow the money to buy a car and <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry for this, and you are telling me that I'm spending money on cars or on houses or on whatever it is. That's not true. The percentages are against you. So you need to understand that there is nothing but with having material goals. But what's really bad is when you spend all your money to buy uh, materials, when you spend all your money to buy uh, on your lifestyle. So my fourth goal, my fifth, sorry, is uh, materials, materi material goal. My uh, sixth one is about, the, is about expansion. And, you know, I, I always want to expand my business I also, I also want to expand my streams of income. So you see, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to talk about it later on. Uh, I'm going to be more in deep. When it comes in network marketing, I'm worth ventures and only worth ventures. I don't look right. I don't look left. There are so many people texting me about this new idea, this new company. That, so I'm in world ventures. I don't know how you can play for one football team and at the same time for another. I don't know how you can play for one, but I don't know how you can be in Microsoft and in Apple at the same time and be a rock star. So when it comes in network marketing, I'm world ventures and only world ventures. But here is what I do and I recommend you to do the same thing. I have multiple streams of income. So my friends that they know me, they know that I put some money in real estate. So this year, 2019, was the first year that I made some good money from real estate. I had some return. 2020, I'm expecting a big return from real estate in 2020. So from the money that I made from World Ventures, which is my career, I put some money in real estate. I also put some money in cars industry. So I'm, I'm not building a career. I'm not selling cars, but I put some money uh, in the industry. So I'm open uh, to have more multiple streams of income. And one of my goals for 2020 is to have one more uh, stream of income. So it's a goal about expansion. My seventh goal is about growth. For things to grow, you need to grow. And I have a specific goal about growth. Um, and uh, when I say uh, growth, it's, it's I, I want to grow my business, my World Ventures business. I want to have more IMDs. I have a specific goals goal on how many IMDs I'm going to have in 2020. But I know that for things to grow, I need to grow. So I have a specific goal of how many more uh, books I'm going to read. I do feel, I do think, and I do believe that if you don't feed your mind, pain comes automatically. So for things to grow, you need to grow. I need to grow my business. I want my business to grow. I need to grow myself. So I do know that if I don't fit my mind, not only I'm not going to grow, but I'm going to lose what I have because the world is moving. If I'm not moving with the world, I'm not staying the same. I'm moving backward. So my eighth goal, my eighth goal is about uh exercising and health and this is something that i didn't really work on 2019 i think it, it was my weakest part on 2019 
And you need to be able to study yourself and be honest with yourself. So 2020, I gave a promise on myself and I'm going to work a lot on, on my health. So you need to understand that you can do whatever you want with your life. But if you have everything you want, but not your health, what's the meaning to get everything you want? And you don't need to wait to get sick so you can start caring about you and your health. And last but not least, my ninth goal is about contribution. You heard me many times saying, give and you will receive. Recently, we had a conversation with some friends uh, and we were about to close a deal. And I told them, you know, find uh, something that is benefiting, gives you more benefit. Find something that the benefit will be 51% on you, 49% on me. And people were asking me, you know, my friends asked me, why you say this? And I'm saying, I really believe and I want to apply the law of give and receive. So some of you are expecting to receive without uh, having the willingness to give. You need to be open-minded. I'm telling you that you need to be open-minded. You need to be generous. If you, if you are generous, I promise you that you will create around you an environment of generosity. Tony Robbins says the secret of living is giving. So ninth goal is about contribution. Now let's go, um, let's go on the fourth goal. I'm not, I'm not telling you that this needs to be your nine goals or the nine pillars of your goals. You can set whatever goals you want, but I'm telling you that you want to have goals uh, for in all the areas of your life. You don't want to have only financial goals because if you are good financially, uh, it doesn't mean that you will be happy if you are good financially, but spiritually you are brave you are broken if you are good financially but your heart is broken again you, it doesn't mean that you'll be happy right if you are in love but financially you are in your worst uh, position and situation ever it doesn't mean that you're happy so you want to work in all the areas of your life now as I told you at the beginning today, I'm going to focus uh, on financial goals. And I want to go back to income. So before I start working with you about financial, go financial goals, let me tell you that this year we will do some events. We will do some calls based on personal development more than any other year okay we will do events calls uh, based on business skills as well but as you as you already know work ventures as a company and the leaders of work ventures they i do believe that as a company personal development is part of our product you know, I've been around the uh, network marketing industry now almost nine to ten years. I've seen different companies. I see, I saw different people, different leaders. I met many of them. And I do believe that World Ventures, one of our X factors, one of the th one of our biggest strengths is that we have personal development as part of our product. We are focusing to build you. We are building leaders. And when a leader is strong, he can build any business. So our priority is to build a leader and the leader can build the business. So when another call on a training event that we will announce really soon on several training events in several countries on calls, we will analyze some of the other goals that you 
uh, want to find out more. But today, as I told you, I'm going to go a little bit deeper on income and wealth. So here's my question. That's how I'm going to start this. Why you want to be wealthy? Why you want to be rich? And I want to see an answer. I want to see some answers. Why do you want to be rich? What's the reason that you want to be rich? What's your reason? What's the number one reason that you want to be rich? If you want to be rich. Security. Burak Polat says security. Let me see some more answers. So what else? We got security. What else we have? Let me see freedom. My body Chris. Freedom. To concentrate for more important things in life like happiness and fulfillment. Jeremy. Because I can contribute more. So to be able to contribute more. Freedom, financial freedom, to give, to be able to give to others. Freedom, contribution, so you can go on holidays twice a year for six months at a time. To be able to choose the power of decision. For the foundation, travel more because of my children's future. Okay, I got some answers, you know. Number one reason that some people will never gonna get rich. Number one reason that some people are never going to get wealthy is because they believe it's impossible to do it by themselves. And it, some of you, you are lying to yourself. If I ask you right now, do you believe you can do it? You will say yes, but deep inside you, you don't. So you need to have that conversation with yourself. This is worldwide the number one reason why some people, they don't get rich. It's because they don't believe they can do it. There are, that's a fact. There are more billions of dollars on the world than the billions of people. The, if we split all the money of the world equally to all the people of the world, do you know that everyone is going to be a millionaire? So if we split all the money of the world today equally, to all the people of the world, every single one of them is going to be a millionaire. Do you know this? So if we do it, this, this is something else that I want to share with you. I can guarantee you, even if you do it, every single one of them, it's going to be a millionaire for one day. It's going to take a few days until the money will go back to the same pockets and to the same bank accounts that they were before. Because success is something you attract by the person you become. Yes, there are more billions of dollars in the world than the billions of people. Yes, there is an abundance of money out there. Do you know that 86% of the millionaires today, according to a global survey, 86% of them are self-made millionaires. Only 14% of the millionaires, they are millionaires that they found the money from the family and from the parents. 86% are self-made millionaires. That means that there is an abundance of money out there and most of the millionaires are self-made millionaires. So if they can do it, what's your excuse? You need to understand like it says in the Bible, you know, receiving is like the ocean. There is plenty of receiving. The problem is not on receiving. The problem is on asking. Because some of you, you are going to the ocean with a teaspoon. There is a limited amount of water that you can put on a teaspoon, teaspoon, but there is an unlimited amount of water in the ocean. So the problem is not on receiving. The problem is on asking. What do you ask for? There is where you need to work at. So 
most of the common reasons why people want to generate wealth is the reasons that you guys you told me right now you know i don't want my children to live through poverty because i did it or i don't want to live from che paycheck to che paycheck or i want to be better than the rest i want to inspire i want to create um, or i have a list of goals that i want to achieve like we're doing, we are doing today and it requires money or i want to help i want to contribute um, or i have debts to pay and i need the money these are some of the most common reasons why people want to become rich now the the second question that i want to ask which is more important than the reason you want to be rich is more important than the reason that you want to do work and just make money is what does wealth means to you and i i need an answer on this as well so what does wealth means to you you want to make money but what's the definition that you give about money is it the root of all evil is it you know the reason that you don't have what you want to have is it power is it freedom what's the definition that you give uh on money what does wealth means to you let me see some answers and we will analyze this together this is even more the second question is even more important than the first question so what does wealth i see some answers be healthy and happy finding your way to leave something behind in the world andre he said options let me see some more answers opportunities freedom options so every single time that we are talking about money there are two thoughts coming in your mind is it wealth money is it when you hear about money are you saying no i will live the life of my dreams you know peace of mind freedom i will do whatever i want whenever i want is this what you really say in in your mind this is the real conversation that you have with your conscious mind or do you say no i don't really know what to do with so much money i said to you a million dollars i said to you 10 million dollars are you saying yeah if i have 10 million dollars i live the life of my dreams or do you say hmm i don't really know what to do with so much money What's the first thing that comes in your mind when you hear that? Do you say, I will have freedom to be me, to be whoever I want, and I don't care what the fuck they will say? Or do you say, I'm going to lose myself and I will be someone else because people are not gonna, they will see me uh, with a different point of view. Do you say, I have $10 million, I will be able to have what I want. Or do you say others will be jealous? Do you have some positive feelings when I'm talking to you about an amount of money that you don't have access to? Or the first reaction of some negative feelings? You need to be honest with yourself. I told you at the beginning of this call, you need to be honest with yourself. Do you say, if I have, if I'm making a million dollars per year, everybody will be my friend or do you say is lonely at the top everyone is gonna want me for my money you need to be honest with the reaction that you have when you hear about money if i say 2020 2020 you will make over a million dollars from world ventures are you gonna say in your mind anything will be possible or are you going to say money doesn't buy happiness? Are you going to say I will have no more lack of money problems? Or do you say I don't trust me to look after those money? What is the first reaction? If you are not honest with yourself, you are not going to be able uh, 
to fix that problem. And the reaction that you have when you hear about money, the first reaction that you have is what's keeping you away from making money. So after answering those two questions, after giving an answer to those two questions, you need to set yourself a target. So that's the first practical step. Set yourself a target. How much money you want to make in 2020? Let me give you, let me help you. What are the key things that you want to pay for? You need to create a list about the key things, the most important things that you want to pay for. Is it, you know, a debt? Is it that you need to buy a new house? Is it that you need to pay the university of your son, of your daughter, the school? What is it? <coughs> the second question is, is it a certain level of annual income that you want to achieve or not? Is it a certain level of annual income that you achieve or not? That do you know exactly how much money you want to make or not? I'm not going to repeat myself, but I will say that I agree with my friend Dario and Bogdan. Money makes not happiness. Happiness comes only from within. But I said there are different areas of life that you want to work for. And today I'm going to focus on money. I I said it before and I'm going to say it again. If you're rich, but you are not working on all the other areas of your life, definitely you are not happy. But as I said, I do believe if you are broke, even if you are working on the other areas of your life, as the world is today, you are still not happy. So I will go back to what I was saying. And I will say, is it a certain level of annual income that you can achieve? And if yes, what? And then the third question, do you have an overall financial target? That means, what's the financial situation that's going to make you feel free? So what's the financial situation that's going to make you that you're never going to be in the position to say, I don't have the money to do this. So for example, you saw the, the fires in Australia today. I'm pretty sure that some of you wanted to donate money, right? I'm pretty sure that some of you, once you saw what's going on in Australia, and once you saw that we lost uh, half a billion animals, you said, I need to contribute. I need to do something for this. And at the same time, you said, but I don't have enough money. I'm pretty sure that some of you did it. Or some of you, you donated some money, but you said, I wished. I wish I could donate more. So what's the financial situation that once you hit it, then you're never going to say money is a problem for me, for my family, for what I want to do. <clears throat> so these are some goals that will help you to specify what you want to achieve in 2020. Here's a tip. Talk about it. I'm not going to tell you to set your goals. I'm going to tell you to set your goals and talk about your goals. Talking to other people will really help you with your internal voice. Yesterday, I had a personal problem and I talked to my friends because I know if I have conversations with myself, and when you don't talk about your goals, when you don't talk about your problems to others, you do talk to yourself. But if you do have co internal conversations, if you have conversations only with yourself, the only opinion that you may be able to hear, the only opinion that you will hear will be yours opinion, which doesn't necessarily mean that is the right opinion doesn't necessarily mean that it's the solution. If you are looking for a solution to your problem and you, you are not talking about your problem, the only solution that you'll get is yours 
solution, which it doesn't mean that is the right solution. It may be the right, it may be the wrong. So my number one tip, talk about this. Talk about uh, your goals, talk about your financial problems, talk about where you wanna go, talk about what's stopping you, talk about your doubts, talk about your strategies, talk about to someone that you trust. You need to open yourself, share your thoughts, share your strategies, and get some feedback. Now, you don't want to talk about your goals and your strategies and your doubts to someone who is doing worse than you, because the chances are that the solution is going to give you is not going to be the right solution. You don't want to talk about your goals, your doubts, your strategies to someone that he used to do better than you five or 10 years ago. At the time that you are talking about your financial goals to someone, needs to be someone that is doing better than you at that specific time. Clear? Now, the second thing that you want to do, and now I'm going to go, I'm going to get to more uh, practical and specific things. The second thing, you are in World Ventures. This is a company that helped me to make over $6 million the last eight and a half years, nine years. This is a company that helped me to invest this money to more businesses, Help me to buy several properties without debts, helped me to have a significantly good bank account and helped me to live a free life. Now, I'm not saying what I said. I'm not saying what I'm saying to show off, but I'm saying what I'm saying because I do believe that I'm an average person, an ordinary person with an extraordinary vehicle that helped me to get some extraordinary results. So if you're an ordinary human being just like me, with this extraordinary vehicle and the right strategy, you can get the extra, extraordinary results like I did. You just need to take advantage of it. And I'm gonna give you a strategy. So we get paid mainly in World Ventures, we get paid in two ways. Number one, we get paid in commissions. Number two, in residual. Please pay attention to what I'm gonna say. What I'm gonna say right now, it may change your financial situation forever. So commissions and residual. Step one, you wanna work hard to make it to residual income. That's your step one for 2020. You wanna change your financial situation. Your first goal is to make it to residual income. If you are not in residual income right now, your first goal is to make it to residual income. If you are watching this video and you are not in work ventures, your first goal is to get into work ventures or you don't wanna get, is to get to something that can give you residual income. So for 2020, you wanna have a financial freedom? First goal, make it to residual income. That's goal number one. So once you make it to residual income, you go to step two. And by the way, if you are already in residual income, your first goal is to rank up. Your first goal is to get it to the next level, next level of residual income. So if you are already in residual income, your first goal of, for 2020 is to get it to the next level of residual income. Step number two, I'm going to, I'm going to disappoint you right now. <laughs> take a paper, take a pen, and write what I'm gonna say. I do care about your financial success, and that's why I'm, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. I do care because you are watching this video I have the responsibility to tell you how to make it easier, how to make your road, your path easier, 
to financial freedom. So listen to me very carefully. Step number two, do not spend residual income on lifestyle or expenses. Let me repeat this. So as I said, step one was to make it residual income. Step two, you do not spend any money from residual income on lifestyle or expenses. Never, ever, ever, ever. So I started by saying that you get paid mainly two ways, commissions and residual. Commissions are your bonuses and your cycles. Lifestyle or expenses, you never spend residual income. You spend your cycles on lifestyle and expenses. And by the way, you never ever borrow money. Listen to me, pay attention very carefully. Unique create financial freedom in 2020, apply that strategy. Never ever spend residual income, passive income on lifestyle or expenses. You have too many expenses, you have things that you're gonna buy, is it a new shoe, pair of shoes, new t-shirt, new shirt, you're gonna go on holidays, whatever it is. You are allowed to spend your cycles. And the step three is the answer on your question. Because I know right now you're having the question, I don't make enough from cycles. I need to spend my residual. Okay, listen my answer work harder to make more money on cycles. You can survive with one euro, you can survive with one million, you can survive with one billion. Trust me, five year, eight years ago, I was making for my previous business 2,000 euros per month. So in my previous business, I, my profit was about 2,000 euros per month. And I was going through life okay. Four years later, 2003 years later, 2014, I was making about 40,000 euros per month. And I was going through life okay. Let me tell you the difference between 2011 and 2014. 2011, I was making 2,000 euros. 2014, I was making 40,000 euros. Let me tell you the similarities. My bank account both years had zero money. So I was spending all my money in 2014, 2013. I was spending all my money. So what you need to understand, I was going through life and I was okay with 2,000 euros per month. I was going through life and I was okay with 40,000 euros per month and I had zero money in my bank account. So I'm giving you a formula that will lead you to financial freedom. You don't spend your residual income and you focus to get your cycles up and you go through life with your cycles. You want to spend money on lifestyle? Spend your cycles. You have expenses? Spend your cycles. Are not enough? Go and make more cycles. You need to trust me on this. Get your cycles up. Whatever you receive from cycles is whatever you're allowed to spend. Residual income, you never spend it. But the question is, what do I do with my residual income? And this is step number four. Step number four, you save and invest your residual. So you save your residual, and once you have the right investment in front of you, or once you have any investment in front of you, because in investments, you need to know that sometimes you lose money. Richard Branson, he said, I made hundreds of thousands of investments. Very few of them were successful. I'm a billionaire. He made hundreds of thousands of investments. Less than 10 investments were successful. He's a billionaire, multi-billionaire. So you need to understand that sometimes you lose money in investments, but that's your strategy. So direct commissions is on accounts for cycles and bonuses, yeah. Only the residual you don't spend. Residual you save and invest, save and invest, save and invest. <coughs> so here is what's your ultimate goal. 
Here is how you'll become financially free. Your ultimate goal with World Ventures is to maximize your residual. It's to get your residual to 54,500 per month. $55,000 per month, your residual. And then you can start another account. But your ultimate goal is to maximize your residual and live a lifestyle, a rich lifestyle with your cycles. But can you imagine if you maximize your residual, how many investments you'll be able to make with $50,000 per month? Let's say that you'll make some wrong investments. Is this gonna be a big problem? Lifestyle bonus for me uh, is on residual again. Lifestyle bonus is on monthly. So if you focus uh, on weekly, that's gonna help you to give an increase on your monthly uh, commissions, right? Number two, if you stop spending your residual, that's gonna, that's gonna push you to go out and work because you need more money to survive and you need to get it from your weekly commissions, from your cycles. So th there is, with the strategy that I'm telling you right now, I can see only positive. I can see only benefits. And you need to start from now. You cannot say, okay, I will do this when I'm earning $20,000 per month. You're never gonna do it. It's gonna be painful, ask me. So you wanna start from now. Work hard on your cycles to cover your expenses and your lifestyle needs. Save and invest your residual will get you to, to wealth, will get you rich faster, than you think and faster than most of the people. Working harder to cover your expenses every single week will automatically going to grow your residual. So that's my strategy. I'm using the same strategy since 2014. Same thing since 2014. Now, I have to tell you something. Even if you apply the strategy from today, it's gonna be something that will try to stop you. Three things will try to stop you. Number one, white flags. You showing a white flag will be the end. You don't give up. You start, you start the strategy, it's going to be tough at the beginning because right now, you know, you spend money that you earn from residual. Some of you are not earning residual. So the first step is to get you to residual income. The first step is to work hard and get yourself to residual income. Three start up and above. So <clears throat> the first thing that is going to stop you is you quitting. You started this, you need to finish it. No white flags. Number two, friends, as you already know, can make you or break you. You don't allow other people's insecurities, other people's lack of knowledge, lack of belief, uh, opinions to discourage you. Someone else's opinion does not have to be your reality. So friends can make you or break you. Be very, very careful with who is next to you. Be, be a bodyguard of your own mind and be a bodyguard of your own ears. Don't let uh, messages that must, that must not enter your mind, that man, must not enter you to enter you. So cut it out. If you see that this friend doesn't serve your purpose, run away. I'm not saying don't talk to them again, but don't listen to them. And number three, you. You know that you'll be your biggest enemy, yourself. I mean, your laziness. Uh, some of you, you want the microwave success. You have the microwave mindset that you think, okay, I'm going to apply the strategy. I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm going to make three cycles. You don't make the three cycles the first week, they give up. No. It's not it doesn't work like this. 
you need to be consistent what you want to do you want to do it daily so people overestimate what they can do in a short period of time and they underestimate what they can do if they're doing the same things over and over again for a few months or a few years so you start the strategy you need to finish it don't let yourself be the reason that you you don't let you be the reason why you're never going to be a happy you and you know uh, by saying that I want to say that 2020 is here. Uh, that wasn't a business strategy call. Uh, it's the first call of the year, and I wanted it to be a little bit different. We will have a lot of calls for business. I will be around the world this year, starting from tomorrow, my first trip. I'm going to Australia, and again, uh, sending my love to Australia. I'm going to be there with my friends in two days from now because it takes two days to go there and i know that they're going through some tough times because of the fires and what's going on there uh, after australia i'm going to be in new caledonia pretty soon i will be back in romania germany greece austria i'm coming again so i will be in asia again this year so i will be around the world we will talk about business. We will do some more personal development. It's time, guys. Let's get it. Let's get out of this call. Let's get the cycles to the roof. Let's get the residual to the roof. Let's save. Let's invest. Let's make 2020 the best year of our lives. Thank you for watching this uh, live call. If you got some value, talk uh, your people, send it to your people let's change some more lives this is our job and to 2020 we will do it better than any other year peace out